everybody. Hello, howdy, y'all. I, I switched it up today. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, you know, just a little this and that. Yeah, we can't do it the same way. No, that's not my MO. That's not, that's not what I do. Because no, because I I forget most of the time. Holly had to remind me, but then I look at it and I'm like, oh, that was yesterday. Alrighty, so everybody on Twitch is talking about Sir Denny and Sir <laughs> Knight of the Lego Land, um, and then it looks like YouTube is talking about the Amish somehow. Not sure what's happening there. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. Well, um, we will be talking neither about knights nor the amish but we're going a little native today with some fringe yeah and uh a quiver so that's that's what we're doing yeah someone asked us about a quiver yeah well, i it don't was know Arch if this is what they wanted i think it was this Archie. Is what you're getting, you, guys. <laughs> <I'm> getting. <laughs> you know this is a place to start yeah. um i yeah i talked to denny last week and i was like hey what do you what do you think about this and he was like yeah we can do that <laughs> Well, I've been wanting to do a, like a Native American quiver and a, and a bow case, but I don't have a, like a little Native American type bow. Yeah, so if anybody has a bow that you would like us to make a little case for, um, we are we would be welcome to have you send it to us so that we could use it yeah. in a, and in a thing. And then we'll send you, we will donate our our bow okay. case, yeah, to, to you. So if anybody's mm -hmm. got a Native bow that they'd like to bring in yeah, or send it, let fun. us know. That sounds fun. Yeah, but anyway, this is a prototype that I did last week. I don't know if you can see it very well, but got a lot of fringe on it. You know, oh, I've got it upside down. Yeah, this is the way it actually works, like that. That's the way it works. Yeah, it's the way. It so works. when you make these, you make them either a left or a right, or can you carry on either side and it's well, fine. Well, this one needs to be a left or a right. Okay. One or the other. Okay. And I made this one right, so it's over my right shoulder. Because I used to shoot a bow, and I, I'm i left-handed, but I always shot a bow right-handed for some reason. I guess that's because of the bow that I had was right-handed. So. Well, they'll do it. Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. You know, I, I feel bad for you lefties of your generation, Denny. Nothing was made for you guys. Yeah, it's still not. <laughs> <laughs> it, even if it's made for a left-hander, I can't use it because I'm used to using right-handed <laughs> stuff. I had left-handed scissors and I could not use them because I couldn't make them mesh together right. Because huh. I always tried to do it right-handed. You know? <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, uh, I've, I made this prototype and then the pattern that I've made that I'm going to use today, I altered a little bit. I, I made it about four inches longer okay. because these are long arrows. And so I feel like there's a lot of customization that you would do depending on the style of shooting that you sure, are going to sure. be doing. And this one you could make into a hip quiver and just hang it off your belt if you wanted to. Okay. But And you can do that with any of them. But, but anyway, uh, this one I, I made different. I made it a little bit longer. Plus I made the pattern uh, three pieces instead of one piece. This, is, this original is a one piece pattern. All right, hang on, guys. Just for a second, we've got a little sad farewell to say today. And so we've got the captain in the house who will be going off on adventures of his own here starting here. starting tomorrow. So everybody wish Captain no fun. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Happy life and health and and all the best wishes on his new adventures. So in any case, Chad's leaving. Yeah. Is it, we're all sad. We are. We're all but, sad. but we got cake, so, you know, <laughs> it makes it better. <laughs> do, you, do you have any words? I don't have any words. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll see, see you guys later. I'm basically going to work for myself for a while and do uh, portraits and artwork and work on my comic. And Yeah, so if anybody needs any cool art done, <laughs> hit up Spectral Void in the void. And... <laughs> Spectralvoid.com. Yeah. yeah. Go find Chad. Get your get your dog's portrait done, which we should do. Because <laughs> we should. All right. Well, thank you, guys. <laughs> and that's it. All right. Anyways, yeah. everybody say bye to Chad. Bye. Go bye, watch Chad. him on Twitch whenever you miss him. He'll be there. Okay. Okay. I got to scooch back over. Bye, Chad. Bye, Chad. Here all day. Yeah, I know. Bye. We don't have to say bye yet. You guys just oh, we'll say bye, bye. later. All right, back to...
our business here. This was the original pattern, and I just made it one piece. But I decided that it might be a little more user friendly to make it out of three pieces because this is an awful big piece of leather. Yeah, it is. You know, and when you make it out of three pieces, you can kind of pick and choose different parts of your. Piece Plus, of you leather. could do fun things and do different leathers for some parts and That's right. make it two toned. That's right. That's right. And we're going to make it a little bit two toned anyway, which we did on this. You notice. Part of it's the, the top grain side and part of oh, it is the, the you rough did, out uh, side. You did some rough out. And if you will notice the lacing it's also on this rough top out. grain, this is rough out lacing. And Look on the different. rough out side, it's top grain lacing. Look at you go! Putting your little elements together. And you did that all without me, guys. <laughs> I, I did elements. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but anyway, this is our new pattern. And it is basically three pieces of leather and this plug this is the end plug which goes in the end right here. Oh, yeah. yep. right here I don't know if you can see it yeah right there and I just cut it out of out of a piece of wood a piece of one by uh, I guess you could use leather if you wanted to but this is neat because if you're using broadhead arrows, you know, and drop them in there, it'll stick in the wood rather than stick a hole through your leather. Right, <laughs> right. Yep, so he just cut out these cute little teardrop shapes and then we just use yeah. whatever upholstery tacks. I said, hey, Denny, let's use some upholstery tacks. And he yeah. said, sure, I'll, yeah. I'll do that for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what we're doing. So, I have taken the liberty. I've cut, and, and you also need a piece of... Uh, uh, strap and this I made this one one and a quarter or one and a half inches wide and it'll be approximately four feet long but we'll wait till I, after we're a little further along to decide the exact length okay and I also cut a piece of lace and it's just about a quarter inch wide out of this same leather but I cut those rather than having to spread the whole piece out on the table and that's the only thing he pre-cut that's the only thing I've pre-cut so far did we, did we give anybody any dimensions on things? I guess we could actually, we'll go through and we'll list that at the end. I'll kind of measure his parts now that we've yeah. got him over here. Um, and... Maybe you can give him as we go along. Okay. Maybe that somebody doesn't have to watch. And this... You know, a, a deal like this when you're using a soft, this is a, a really nice oil tan leather. It, it really doesn't have a pull up to it, but it's got a nice oil content. To the it. leather that we're using today is today's 22 day special leather. Is it the Bull Moro? Pit Bull Moro. Pit Bull Moro. Pit Bull Moro. Too many names. Pit Bull Moro is the leather that yep, we're using, which is today's, and then we'll be available until we're either sold out or the, the end of the month. Is so. that Pit Bull? Then I sale don't know. Hey Denny, I have a question <clears throat> that it kind of popped up on a video. When somebody has something looser like that and they're using a strap cutter, do you have any tips for getting it started? Use a, use a, yeah. I always started, I just cut a little snippet on the end with a pair of scissors, a pair of shears. Ah, so you can get it started. So I can get it. it started. But use a really good sharp blade in your strap cutter for like a soft that. leather like this. Do you strop your blade? Yes, your... I do. Yeah. I and he strop. strops everything all of the time. All yep. the strops, all the time. All strop, all the time. It will make your life better, you guys. There ain't no stropping us now. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> now, let's see here. <laughs> Ooh, tangled up. Tangled up is Jessica? Yeah. Uh, yep. Okay. They got five inches of snow. Sure. Who did? In uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Oh. We, we did get snow here, guys, which is like the first time I remember snow in November in oh, a really long inches. time. And it snowed, and then it... It... Quit. Yeah, well, it <laughs> melted because it's Missouri. Like it was just, it was in like the high 30s for most of the most of it. Wow. Yeah, so they were, like, just the county over. That's crazy. They just us. <laughs> okay, I'm cutting this out. I'm just using a a box knife. Wait, what's wrong with Charles's ears?
Which Good one? for it got some frosted grass in Arizona. Was it self-inflicted frosted grass? Oh, my pinging. All right. This is the actual quiver part, the part where the arrows will go. What do you think about that, Denny? What do I think about what? That leather you're using. It's nice. Yeah. Uh, like I said, it's got a really nice oil content to it. It, it doesn't pull up at all, but there's nothing wrong with that. It's just a different type of leather than a pull up. Yeah. It's an oil tan, no pull up. I can't remember what we said in the other little video. And by we, I mean you. Well, you were there watching me not say the right thing many times to finally get to the right thing at some point. <laughs> okay. Now this piece that I'm cutting here is strictly decorative. Charles is so mean to you. Yeah, it's okay. Alrighty guys, so the piece that Denny just cut, which is the body of the quiver, was, it's a graduated piece. We are 23 inches long here. We've got a 10 inch top and a 12 inch bottom. So draw a straight middle line for 23 inches. And then you've got 10 inches, so five inches on either line of your center line here, and then six inches on either line of your center line here. And then make yourself a little, yeah. or is that a rhombus? I don't even know. I think rhombuses are actually on their side. It's a yeah. funky, funky rectangle. And I think the near, the small end is the bottom. Okay. The bottom. Oh yeah, that would make sense. Yeah. So this is the bottom, that's the top. So 23, 12, 10. Okay. And then I'll do the same for this one, hang tight. This is half a rhombus. Half a rhombus. <laughs> You guys, if I knew I was making a rhombus, I probably wouldn't have done it. <laughs> You're making diamonds, Denny. Okay. That's better. I mean, yeah, it's... Because rhombuses could be dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> you get a wild no rhombus, rhombuses. you never know what's uh, going to happen. Diamonds are rhombuses. Trapezoid. Hmm. I kind of know what a trapezoid is. Liz, are you going to sing some songs for us? I mean, not on purpose, but maybe sporadically. Charles said I need to leave the singing to you. Abigail came in yesterday with a new dog. She sure did. Abigail has a new puppy dog. Uh, golden retriever. And good news is that Alex and Axel and Luna got along. Just Axe. 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 I like Axel better, so I'm going to change his name. Yeah, that's just what wants to come out whenever you say Axe. It just like, the rest of it is just there to fall out. Yeah. That's 23 and a quarter. This piece that I'm cutting out here is just the rim of the top of the the quiver with, with a little bit of fringe attached. And I guess if you wanted to make one without fringe, you, you probably wouldn't be arrested for that. <laughs> it's got, not going to be nearly as cool if it doesn't have That's fringe. Right. That's right. All right, Tony, I can give them while Denny cuts that out. I've got the measurements here. Okay. So on this piece, we are, so everybody, we've got a flat bottom. So the width of our rectangle is seven and a half inches wide here. And then on this short side, you see how we're a little bit funky up here? On the short side, we're 23 and a quarter inches from base to this, 23 and a quarter. And then the long section right here, is this an inch? Yeah. So you've got an inch tab on this side. So draw yourself an inch line all the way up here. Um, you've got 28 inches from here to the bottom. And then you've got 27 and a quarter from this tip to here. And it's one inch wide. And you've got a kind of a 
because I think that's your seam to fold over where your buck stitching, right? Yeah, I think this one, this this was a mistake on this side. Okay, so it doesn't, <laughs> but it's still yeah, fine. Yeah, don't pay any attention. Yeah, so fold. just you've got a you've got a one inch fold here, so you you're gonna cut that little corner off to 27 and a quarter from this tip to here. Good, good. Now there, that's the last piece. The last. This is our topper stabilizer. Yes. Did you get that one? Sure did. Okay. Now then, I guess the first thing I'm going to do here is put our little... Bye, uh, William. Make sure I've got it. I'm getting ready to sell somebody else by too. This little plug, you've just got to... Overhead. To make that plug, you've just got to measure the circumference around the bottom of your uh, your quiver and make something. It doesn't have to be a perfect teardrop, you know. Uh, that's just the way I made it. I thought it would look kind of cool. Boop. Okay. Everybody sees that. Okay. But anyway, so I'm going to cement this bottom and, and this plug, and then I'm also going to put cement on the two edges here. So if you would hand me the seat. I can do that. And while I'm doing this, you can do what you do. Michael asked, how much roughing up of the area for the glue will you need to do? Probably none. I'm I'm going to do it, I think, without any. Because this glue is, is merely holding it until I get stuff laced together. Plug. <coughs> yeah, I'm cementing this bottom of the, the quiver itself. That's a little wrap around the plug. <coughs> <coughs> I think I have a frog in my throat. Yeah. I hate it when that happens. Yeah. You should just go ahead and swallow it. Frogs are better than toads in your throat, though. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't think I could really handle either, but I do agree with you. Alrighty guys, so for our little topper with the fringe situation, um, you've got 12 inches from here to here. So 12 inches all the way across. You've got five and a half here for just this tab, and this tab is an inch and a half wide. So inch and a half all the way across here, 12 inches long, five and a half inches um, for this tab, and then you've got another five and a half inches from the corner here, right there, to the bottom. Ooh. And then this is six and a half inches here. Oh, I guess. I mean, five and a half, six and a half, seven. So the total height of this is seven. We're going to just math on the fly. I can probably do that. All right, seven inches tall, 12 inches wide, and then you're going to cut a square out here and then fringe all this. Okay, and I don't know if any of you were watching while Liz was talking, watching what I was doing, but I double glued this, this bottom where this plug is going to go in, and I'm going to double glue the plug too, because the only thing that's going to hold it is some, uh, some carpet tacks, or upholstery tacks, I mean, but a double layer of glue, if you let one of them tack up and put another layer on, it holds about twice as good. Now I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to start cutting some fringe here. Ooh wee! You guys get ready for a treat. <laughs> this oh, is boy. a treat. Alright. Now I'm going to measure, I've got a line here, about to two inches off of this, this back, the long spine here about two inches. And that's going to be my fringe line. And I'm going to do something that I usually don't do. And that's I'm going to use a straight edge to uh, cut this fringe with. 
Thank you. You're welcome. Well, Josh, let us know. That would be cool, but we understand. Uh, now I need that whiteboard. All righty. Yeah, cutting fringe is always best done on poly. Yeah. You know, the old timers, all they had was wood, uh -huh. a wood cutting board, and they always cut cross grain because if you cut with the grain, it, your knife just kind of buries itself in between the grains. Huh. But it's so much nicer having this poly board. Oh, plastic. Yeah, oh, plastic. But <laughs> man, that's one good thing about modern technology. True. Although we're filling up the ocean with plastic, you guys. My wife will be so proud of me for saying that. <laughs> Have you seen those new little, I, I saw a little ad somewhere for um, these little kind of tugboat thingies that go through the ocean with like a big net on the back of them and they filter through the water and they try to pull the plastic about no and then kidding. they yeah so it's like almost almost like a little trash truck that like drives across the ocean sucking up the water getting all the stuff out of it popping it in the back and then he comes in to be oh, like dumped cool. it is pretty neat you know i was my wife she hates she hates to buy anything with plastic on it, you know, it's wrapped in plastic or made out of plastic. But you can't help it. Um, everything I is. Mean, it's everything is. But anyway, we collect plastic at our house. Mm -hmm. Lots of plastic. <laughs> and I said, why don't we just melt it down and make bricks out of it? You can build yourself a new house. Why don't we melt plastic down and make bricks out of it? I don't. I don't know. I mean, they say it won't deteriorate for 40, 100, 7,000 years. I mean, Lego's doing it. I don't know if they're melting down plastic, but they're, I mean, they're yeah. extruding something, bricks. I mean, and it, it would last forever. It is true. You guys tell me what I'm thinking about, why it's wrong, and why it hasn't been done before. Probably because they only want plastic to be disposable. That's probably so right. So that you have to buy it again. That's probably right. Okay, I forgot. I've got to mark something down here at the bottom. Right. What are we marking? Well, I'm cutting this fringe, but when I get to the bottom... Come here. Okay. This whole piece here will be fringe across here. So I gotta know where to start. That. So he lined up the top of this, the the top of the main body with the little point. Yes. And then you mark the line at the bottom. Yes. Okay. That's where my fringe will. That's where it will start going around the corner down there. Gotcha. And since since and when I get down here. And the corner. <laughs> and, <laughs> and if you'll notice, I'm cutting my fringe at an angle. But when I get down here, I'm gonna have to increase this angle because I want it to be. Yeah, just like on the chaps. Vertical instead of horizontal. Yeah. So every once in a while. You got to cut a piece out, aren't I'm, you? Yeah, I'm going to uh, cut a sliver out of this to increase my angle and just throw it over there. And it will also make your fringe a little bit longer every time you do that because you're increasing the, the length right. by, by increasing the angle. Math. Yes, that's that's geometry. I did very well in geometry the second time around. <laughs> that's okay. It took me twice going through trig. Uh, so, it's good times. Um, Dean, you're going to love this. This is what Herman Oak comes wrapped in, is this paper. But you can also just buy, like, heavy craft paper yeah. to do patterns out of. You can do Bontex if you want. Um but this is, Denny just steals the paper that our Herman Oak rolls come yeah. in, and then that's what he uses a lot. I love it for pattern paper. Yeah. I'm sure you did that whenever you were working at the saddle yeah. company, too. Yes, I did. That's where I, that's where I learned it. <laughs> but yeah, because you can cut a piece of this, and if you mess it up, you can go like this, wad it up, and throw it in the trash can. <laughs> or recycle. Yes, or recycle it, yes. Put it in the fire, because you know what, guys? It's cold now. Winter hath cometh is what I keep telling Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, every 
once in a while I'm just going to cut another little sliver out. I'm going to eat some more Chad cake. Chad cake. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Tori, like just brown craft paper is, is good for patterns. Grocery sacks. Mm. Great, great weight of paper. Mm -hmm. It's about the same as this. I have to ask for paper. Yeah. Nobody ever asks you that anymore. You walk into a grocery store and they just put your stuff in plastic. Yeah. Like they've got those paper bags under there, but nobody asks you if you'd like one. I have been really good recently about taking my own bags into stores, and I really, it's been a long time since I've had to deal with a lot of yeah. plastic bags. That's what we do too. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's, it's embarrassing to act like a bag lady going into a store when you're a guy. <laughs> no, you'd be proud, Denny. <laughs> Jacob would be so proud of you. Would he? Yeah. Well, good. That's He's the one I wanted to <laughs> impress. Jacob specifically. Well, in New York, it's illegal to to do plastic bags now. Is it see. really? Mm -hmm. Well, they ought to do that here. Yeah. We uh, we were at Coney Island, and I bought I bought a sweatshirt, and they gave it to me in a plastic bag, and, and he just about had a meltdown. He was like, that is not legal. <laughs> like, you are not allowed to do that. Places going to that around So, here. yeah, I always, I have, Chris always complains because I, like, the back of the car is just kind of full of reusable bags. I got like three or four Ikea ones. I've got like the free Costco one that's like the insulated bag and that usually holds all the other bags <laughs> if I'm organized enough to put them in there. And then, uh, you know, you got like all the Jogs ones. Every time we go to Tucson, Jogs has like the reusable bags that they give you just as like a vendor that comes. So I've got like four or five of those. And those are good bags. I like my Jogs bags. They're meant to hold rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he's taking a slice out. Taking a slice. But see how much longer the fringe is getting than when I started? Just by doing that. Oh, so, yeah, Tori, that happened to us in California, too. We were there at Target, and we were just buying groceries. And, of course, like, we were on vacation, so I didn't bring any of my reusable bags with me. And they did. They charged you, like, 10 cents per bag that you needed at Target. Well, they, you know, you can't, it costs you to recycle now, and they used to pay you to recycle. Mm -hmm. When I was a kid, you could still collect pop bottles and get money for yeah. it. Yeah, I think maybe in some states you still can, but. Michigan, you can get a table. Yeah. Unless you take it to the recycling center, you take it to the aluminum can or the recycling center. Do you think chap leather would be good for a grocery bag? Chap leather? Yeah, it could be. I wouldn't, I personally wouldn't want a leather that's too oily because it's just going to be heavy and then it's just going to, like you're going to have like a three or four pound bag that then you have to put all your stuff in and it's just going to be a really heavy carry. Um, so like a, a less oily leather, a little bit of a thinner one, but yeah. And even canvas, like canvas with leather accents is a really good grocery bag. Um, I actually kind of wonder, the, the pattern that I did, uh for whenever we did the molded bowl, you could do that out of upholstery. And I've seen them done for like uh, hanging baskets for plants. So you just do the same cut pattern, like the array cuts, like we did for that molded basket, but you just don't do it out of veg. And then you just have like almost one of those collapsible grocery shopping bags, but you can use it for like plant hanger baskets, or if you made one big enough, then you could usually use it for a grocery bag. Mm -hmm. That would you be see neat. Jolly Green's comment there. You want me to hold this for you? Yeah. Um, Jolly Green, where? On YouTube. Oh, there it is. I wallpapered my dining room wall with brown paper torn into small pieces, crumpled for texture. It came out looking like parchment paper. I bet this. So they drew a map of Middle Earth. Where's your picture, dude? <laughs> like, just, you need to, we need to see it. We need live at springfieldleather.com. You need to send us a picture. That's awesome. How much is it for us to cut fringe? Um, 
We don't cut fringe like this. We only cut fringe. Uh, it can be six inches long is the longest that we can cut. We have a machine that we run it through. Um, you have to pay for the leather that you want. And then it is $6 per linear foot for us to process that leather into fringe for you. So you're doing a job. And you can piece together fringe. So that's why we do it by the linear foot. So if you're like, okay, I need to get 13 feet linear feet of fringe, six inches of fringe, and then I need a, you know, a full inch header on it. So you have seven and inches tall by 13 foot long. We will, you're not going to get one piece. You'll get probably two or three pieces that will equal that amount of length and footage, but then it's $6 per linear foot. It's just a lot of labor time and like cutting all the sections and then running it through the machine and then it's a machine, so sometimes things go wrong and it likes to eat it, depending it's on the leather. Machine, yes. Yeah, so. Um, Danny's giving me PTSD from when I worked in the kitchens. The ding from his knife. Uh -huh. I kept hearing it. I didn't know where it was coming from. <laughs> ding! Mm, let's see here. Um, I think Anne asked what type of leather this is. This is our 22 day. Today, special leather, it is the Pit Bull Moro leather, and it is a heavy oil tan. It's a pebble grained oil tan leather. It's beautiful. It is really pretty. Mm -hmm. How's everybody been liking the midnight videos of Liz? Oh, yeah. Talking yeah. about the leather. Do you guys like the, the little videos with the where you can see how the leather looks and feels and how it moves and all that? Does that help you make your decision? Is that good? Tony and I have been discussing that that's kind of going to be a new thing that we try to do with new leather so that you guys can get a good sense of the leather in real life instead of just having to go by a single flat picture. Yes, Dean. It's our 22 crazy days. It started last Wednesday. And um, it'll go till the end of the month. And every day we release one to, I don't know, three new items somewhere along there. Um, every day we'll have at least one or two leathers and then some hardware and we'll do some sales, but it's the 22 crazy days. So go to the website, there's a big banner in the header. There's also the sale. So you can find everything there. Just send me some. Ooh, Eric said that he's been loving the YouTube shorts. That's Justin guys right there. Justin's been making that happen. Oh yeah, he's also been doing like the daily videos of each leather. So you've been working with Andy and Ryan to get the the videos done for every every leather that we've Make been selling. Out of each of them. Mm -hmm. Do a little exhausting. <laughs> he's working real hard. <clears throat> Everybody's been loving them. Just finished today's. It'll show up at three o'clock today. The sh the shorts of like the crafting thing came up what two days before the sale started. Like hey, that would that probably be a Fun thing to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, we'll plug in. Oh, why not plugged in? That's what Tony says. Oh, well. They should just know by now, guys. It's been like two years. Right. <laughs> when do you guys do videos? <laughs> we don't know. Jelly says, map sent. I got it. Thanks. Yeah, that's a, I've been I've been listening to the Lord of the Rings books. I finished the first one while I was out in Vegas, and I started the second one this week. It's the first time I've been reading them. I've been. Oh wow! Yeah, it's a uh, it's been fun. I've been enjoying it. Okay, now this piece is around the top edge, so I'm going to cut fringe on it too. Oh my goodness, Dean. You are just the master of send me all the free things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's always on it. He is on it. If there if there's a comment that comes up that he says, "Yeah, I'll take some of that." He's going to he's going to make it. Hopefully, Jolly doesn't mind if we share her picture. No, Dean, I'm just going to comment about it. <laughs> it's fine. What do you say? So you're me free love? 
Now he says, is that a problem? <laughs> you know what my husband says? If you ever say no to anything free, then people will stop asking you if you want it. So you just always say yes to everything. You just, if anybody has anything that they want to give you, you all just always say yes, because you never know when it's going to be a really good one. Yes. And if you don't take things, then they won't offer them to you. All right, can you see that? <gasps> Is that your wall? Nice. Yes, so. Oh my gosh. Nice. Can you come to my house? That's incredible. Yeah, really good. I th I need to see like a zoomed out picture so that I can like I need the I need to know the context of this room. Oh, what else is going on in the room? There's the other picture. Okay, so I think I see an outlet down at the bottom. Tony, is that correct? There's like a little outlet there in the like in the middle of the picture on the bottom, in the blue. Oh, oh yeah, maybe so. Okay. That's a huge painting. Yeah, it's the whole wall. That's amazing. Down down here somewhere maybe the outlet. I don't know if see my mouth. That's insane. Crazy. Nick, that's not even funny. That's not even a little funny. He says that he's got a dump truck full of bamboo for me. <laughs> you want to bring your dump truck to my house and then load up all the bamboo that I also have and then you can have more bamboo in your dump truck? I would be, we could do that. There you go. Yeah. I think that's what he meant. Yeah. Hey. I, I want you to come get my free bamboo. I've got a dump truck full of bamboo I'm out collecting. Cut didn't go like I Eight planned. foot by twelve foot. You're a talented person, Jolly Green. That's pretty neat. That's that blows my like stenciled wall out of the water. <laughs> I thought I was kind of cool, but I'm just I'm just regular now. <laughs> just normal. <laughs> just a normal person now. Right, Thanks, Charles. Thanks for the. Thanks for the tip. I have been on a book reading frenzy these days. Denny is a fringe machine. <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Let's see here. All right, so let's see how our let's double glue. About right there. Okay, I've got a couple of rolling songs in my head right now, but I don't think that they're appropriate. So I'm not going to sing them. <laughs> <laughs> Michael Seeger says he wants to make some saxophone reeds. Do you, do you sell bamboo shoots? Bamboo. No. We can shoot bamboo. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I wouldn't know what I would be giving you. Like, I would just, I would just dig up some pieces. No, Stryker. My, I, no bamboo for leather purse handle? No, I, I haven't really, like, I haven't cr tried to craft the bamboo. Just bamboo I just, is really hard to cut. Yeah. I just kind of want, I just want it to go away. I don't want to bring it into my house and think about it more. <laughs> Feed it to the elephants at the zoo. Right? If you can get it there, they will take it. They don't want it old though, they want it brand new. Well, I I mean, I still have some that I haven't cut down. I got plenty of that, otherwise I do have some old that's been... I, yeah, Dean, you don't want to use uh, bamboo for firewood. Like, outside in a in a pit it would be fine, but it, it it's... pops. Yeah, it explodes with the air pockets, so I don't think fireworks in your home. Plus, like, Luna can't handle shotguns. She runs away and cowers and pees everywhere, or just loud noises in general. She's not a fan. Bamboo pellets. These people think that I want to process my bamboo. I just want it gone. <laughs> no money. But I'm not willing to do anything about it. No money involved. <laughs> Okay. Uh, 
Oh no, you got a pucker down here. Yeah, it's not that cement's not holding real well on this oily leather. I'm trying to figure out which way I'm going here. Oh yeah. Oh, I have a couple of clips. I don't know if that would help you. I stole these last week from Andy. <laughs> Andy clips. All right. Wing divider is right here. So I'm going to make myself a line which is about half of the distance here on this fringe. So didn't you cut that at two inches? Yeah, approximately. Yeah, yeah approximately. so about a one inch wide. Yeah, or even three quarters. Okay. That's what I'm going to make this is about three quarters. Making bits, we're making a quiver. Now since the cement didn't hold all that good, let's try some basting tape to see how that holds. We have got all of the securing options available to us today. <laughs> all securing options. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. If anybody was curious, I know Denny said just to make your own plug, but some of you like to know. So the plug at its width is one and three quarters. So the fattest part of your, um, <laughs> the fattest part of the, the teardrop is one and three quarters right there. And then from top to bottom, it's four and an eighth or so. Did Lynn leave with Chris or is she in here? No, she's on the table. I don't want to throw it and get it in your cake. Hey, Luna Bear, you want a treat? We have to come out here and get it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. There you go. There's a good girl. Thanks. Say thanks. <laughs> this fringe here on this line that I drew. Would a more firm leather work for this pattern? It, it would. would. The fringe won't drape as nicely, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. You can use any leather you want to use on it. Just a nice soft body one here. Yeah, what I mean, I, I guess you could look it up, but this leather is four to five ounce is the thickness here. And that first one that I did, I think it was probably a three to four ounce. It's a bit lighter. Ah. Look, Denny, you're motivating Renee to, to make a simple pull cue case. Cool. Renee, you should look up um, Rusty Melton on Facebook. Yeah. He is a local customer of ours, and he makes some of... Now it is not simple, but he makes some very beautiful pull cues cases to be inspired by. World class. Mm -hmm. And he's just a really, really nice guy. So Rusty, Rusty Melton is kind of, he'll bring them in every once in a while and he like lines them inside with velvet and he does all sorts of fun stuff. But they're, they're pretty neat. Tangled up, sometimes it takes Luna a minute to decide that she actually wants a treat. And so she has decided that she shall eat it today. And she's climbed back up on the table after staring at it for a while. She likes to do that. She said, yes, I do want it. She said, I will, I will consume she's this. She's control. She's a goofy little critter. Aren't you? <laughs> it's got a slight color change there, didn't it, when you folded it over. Say what? have just a slight color change maybe a very slight a color oh as far as the edge of it goes yeah so, all all real heavily oil tan leather is going to pull up to a point you know right and that's one of the beauties of it you know the oil content will uh, disguise a lot of uh, weaknesses i'm going to cut this tip off here 
because I don't remember why I put that tip on there. I bet you're going to remember later. Yeah, I will remember later. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Well, guys, hold tight. <laughs> Maybe watch the whole thing <laughs> before you keep going, just yeah, in case. If you really want to know. <laughs> finished okay and I'm gonna set my wing dividers at about probably three-eighths of an inch and make myself a line down this spine okay something else we have to figure out because mm -hmm. right here is where I need to attach the Strap. Oh, right, that's strap time. So, let's do that before I go any further. And if I want to make it fancy, I probably ought to do that part now, too. I'm going to cut this on an angle, about like that. been a yawny week because the weather what are you measuring for Denny I'm, I think I'm measuring just about right there okay. uh, <clears throat> you don't want your Liz and I were talking about it earlier and you don't want your uh, your quiver to, to ride too high on your shoulder because you have to reach back over your shoulder to get the arrows out so you need it to kind of fall away a little bit on the yeah, top yeah I want it to follow fall away okay I wish that I knew more about uh, archery, but I, I don't know that much about archery, so I am more of a spectator here than anything. <laughs> what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut this long, because I want it to be, if you need to adjust it, you'll be able to later. Got that. Nicole is also mm -hmm. staying motivated to finish her breast collar. I need to be motivated to start working on some knife sheaths. What are you looking for? I'm looking for this little chisel. I've got a quarter inch chisel here. <clears throat> and we don't uh, handle a set of gang chisels that are 40 or four, a quarter inch so you correct. have to use a single and I need the mallet I'm going to start down here at the bottom now did you secure that tab at all did you tape it on or did you just no just sitting there it just sitting there okay make sure all your fringe is out of the way yeah okay now to space this out I'm going to space it one chisel width I don't know, can you can you see what I'm doing as far as spacing the I'm not watching, I'm thinking about cake. Tony's getting hungry. And I'm restless. just hoping that it's gonna make my eyes quit falling asleep. Your eyes fall asleep? Yeah they do. We're not entertaining enough for Tony. Liz watched me work on my computer yesterday. 
I did. He left to go get daughter number one, and no two. Well, she was oh. your number one daughter. You took number two with her. Uh, I see. But I'm, yes, yeah. I'm comprehending. Um, I almost said daughter number two, but then I was like, no, she's number one. If she's watching this, I don't want her to think that I think she's number two. You better be <laughs> paying attention in class. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, then I, I look over at Tony's computer and it's just, the screens are flying and boxes are popping up and things are going crazy. So I texted him and I was like, can I just, does it count if I watch you work? Does that count as me working? <laughs> I'll say that I'm supervising. Shandon is, I think that's Shandon. Yeah, Shandon is finishing some cuffs today. Look at you guys. See, that's why we're here. Just to motivate you guys to do some leather work. Come craft with us. Yeah. And this is kind of a slow process. Luckily, I've only, there's not a lot of it to do. Um, Dean, I do have a little bit of shearling. We will have, oh, um, for the 22 crazy days, I do not believe that there's going to be any shearling no there. Shearling. No shearling on the 22 crazy days, but for Cyber Monday, for those of you that are available, Cyber Monday, Tony and I will be doing live shopping all day long. There's a, there's a two pack of <laughs> shearling sitting right next to me. That, yeah, we have a. white. <laughs> that, that's. That's what Tony's salty about. I made him sit next to the moth-smelling shearlings. They don't smell bad. They just kind of smell like some mothballs. The but they'll be mostly aired out probably by the time you get them because it's still another week. If you have two of them, it'll probably be okay. But when you have like 30 of them, yeah. they all kind of start to smell together. He's hanging out with a pile of them. But Maybe well, that's why I'm falling asleep. I'm getting chemical over here. He, he's at Grandma's house, and that's where we always get <laughs> nappy. Uh, yeah. Um, yes, Striker, we will have a whole hour of exotics and kind of specialty leathers. Not in the 22 days, but in oh. live shopping Cyber mm. Monday. The 28th. Yeah, sorry. Live shopping Cyber Monday. But my thing. <laughs> That's all I know. I'm excited about what Michael's making me. That's all I care about. Is that half for you? Was that it? Have you seen the half? Yeah, I looked at, I responded last night in my emails because I was going through those, the live emails. The one that's red and white? Uh-huh. That's pretty cool hat. It's going to fit me. <laughs> <laughs> so you can wear your hat and I'll wear my dragon. Oh, yeah. That'll be pretty fun. We've got a vegetarian hour, a hair on. I think we've got 30 cowhide rugs along with some calf, leopard calves. Mm-hmm. Um, and then... Some little hair on, goat, like, printed or... Um, an oil tan hour. Yeah. What else? We've got upholsteries, we're going to do some Bundys. An hour of Bundys. The more people that we have there, the fact, we're going to set up for six hours, but we're usually we only make it five hours worth of selling. So the more people that we have to get the stuff out, we may have the super secret sixth hour that we always kind of set up and never get to. It's going to be a great day. SB Foot. Warren Giles. There may be there may be some hair on hides that are 150 bucks, maybe even less. If I get crazy, depends on how many cupcakes I eat. Oh my. <laughs> um, Dean, the white shearlings. I can send you. I'll send you some pictures if you'd like, because we have more of them. I just pulled 20 for the the live sale, but they're anywhere probably from like four to six square feet. I'm gonna say um, the pile on them. Some of them have like a more of a poofy bath mat style pile and then some of them have more of just like a straight haired pile yeah. and they're all right like it's it is a mo it's it's mothball smell i don't i think that's just what they put in the crates to keep everything fresh yeah, yeah whenever you, um, you set it outside and it will it will disappear yeah but i'm testing out a new chat bot in facebook to see if we can get 
past our freezing issues that we've been having on live shopping. So if you're on Facebook right now, right now at 11.54 Central Time on this Wednesday, November the 16th, just type a bunch of stuff in the chat right now. It doesn't even have to be anything worth saying. Just type in one letter, just keep hitting enter and try to blow it up and see if we can freeze it. What, what else was I going to say? There was something else I was going to say. I'm sure it was riveting. All right, so Denny has all of his slots punched. Now we're going to buck stitch. Yeah, I'm buck stitching now. And I'm going to buck stitch rough side out. Just because I want to. <laughs> Unless you They're doing it. There it goes. Eugene is also participating on YouTube. Good. Thanks, Gene. <laughs> it doesn't look like we froze it. It, it does act differently. They're like coming in waves. <laughs> Let's break Facebook. That's what I'm up for. Cake. This is Chad cake because Chad is leaving. So Chris got some bunt cakes today. It's the best cake in Springfield. Bunt cake, you say? Mm hmm. From that little shop across from the mall called Everything <laughs> Bunt Cakes. Everything Bunt? Mm hmm. Like everything but cake, but it's bunt cakes. It's cute. <laughs> I'm loving, loving the emojis that Nicole's putting in. We're not breaking it, but it does act way different than the other one that I use. But maybe it will be one that we can fall back on to use. I think we will be able to. We just don't want to have. We don't want to have any hiccups. We want Monday to go smoothly. Yeah. If we if we freeze the other one, then hopefully we can just click an eyeball off and click an eyeball on and move to the <coughs> move to the other one. But we'll also do what we did on the Leathercraft, the National Leathercrafters Day, and we'll add in some uh, safe rooms. Oh yes, yeah, so you so can watch can... where we're not selling. You can observe and not be tempted to participate yeah, if you need. Your, your checkbooks can. <laughs> can stay where they need to stay, your bank accounts can stay where they need to, and your credit card processors are not overwhelmed. <laughs> but you can still be entertained. Yeah. <laughs> Why is the Facebook breaking? I want to break it now. <laughs> Actually, Wayne, I am notorious for forgetting to eat. That's kind of my thing. Half the time, Chris will make me breakfast and then I bring it in, and it will be like on my desk until 3 o'clock in the afternoon when I'm like, I'm literally going to fall over because I'm starving. And I should probably eat something. <laughs> and then I'll eat it. Yeah, it's still not breaking it, but it'll just pop up five or six comments at a time, how the other one just kind of, mm -hmm. how it, they kind of come in. This will just be like a group that jumps, that's jumping in, so. I don't know. Okay, I've got to confess. Yes. I was going to do this rough side out, but I'm doing it smooth side out. Totally on purpose. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, because I forgot to start the strap at the same time. And when I restarted it, I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> if you want to keep talking on Facebook and trying to break it, you can, but I have tested what I was wanting to test. Tony is happy with his trial. It will be it'll be the backup. I was deciding whether it was going to be the primary or the backup. Oh let's backup. hear. Backup. So this particular cake that I'm eating is white chocolate raspberry. This one right here. This one. This one. White chocolate raspberry bunch cake. <laughs> I, I like Michael's comment on Facebook. He always watches the live on Friday, so he's not tempted to pit on Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he still could bid on Friday. It just wouldn't work because he's a day behind. Yeah. You could still type it in and it'll be all right. Yeah, yeah, you could, I mean, you could bid. You. It just won't, we won't know. <laughs> it just won't do you any good. Yeah, so you can still feel like you're participating. You oh, just, dang, missed out on that one. Yeah. Again. I tried, honey. I tried to get some things, but it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> I 
There's your cake. There it is. Look at this delicious cake. It's very tasty. It's so good. The frosting yes. is... Ah. It's fabulous. Yeah. It's all good. We're, we're done trying to break Facebook. Yeah, Chevy, I was trying uh, Nightbot out for you. Alrighty, guys. So we have a um, project specific question. The leather squirrel would like to know is the buck stitch all that secures on the strap? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yes. But it's quarter inch lace and it's pretty heavy duty. I would not worry about it. I mean, I suppose if you wanted to, you could maybe do another line of buck stitch right sure. like if you wanted to if you wanted to maybe yeah. you could start up here and do like an l and come around something That's, but see this is the adjustable part of it down here so if you need to make it a little longer oh, okay you can let it go you, so i don't know so do you just leave this hanging out and like yep, we'll tie a I'm knot going, here or you I'm just not leave even it tie a knot it'll just be like part of the fringe okay okay so if you needed to you could remove the buck the lace. Yeah. Move the strap around. Um, yeah, shorten it or lengthen it because there's about another six inches that you can make it longer. Okay. If you wanted to make it shorter, of course, you can do that too. But I think, if I remember right, I think I cut the total length on this strap about 48 inches, about four feet. Because oh. on the other one, I just made it three feet long. Gotcha. Okay. And I felt like it was a bit short. I don't know. It's noon. It's noon. So if we wanted to, we could call it. We could call it. And then we can do the topper and the strap because you got it all twisty yeah. like over yeah, there I on need, Friday. I need to do the twist too. Mm -hmm, before yeah. you secure it on the top yeah. side. Yeah, so why don't you want me to do that off camera or you want to do it Friday? No, I, I think we can just do it all Friday. All right. Yeah. Yeah. People like to see that strap done. So, yeah. all righty, guys. It is noon, so we have done our little hour since Tony ran away. I'm just going to do this. So, on Friday, we will come back. We will this way we're going to complete the strap and we'll do this fun little twisty strap here that Denny likes to do we've done it a few times but can't hurt to do it again because it is a neat idea and then we'll get the rest of it buck stitched and then we will put the top on because we also have not done that so that will be Friday's version like I just said I don't know where my videographers both left the room there's Tony Alrighty. sorry what happened did you go eat uh, well, I took a check to your desk. Oh, thank you for that. Yeah. And, uh, then I had a potty. Oh. <laughs> okay, yeah. Any other, yeah, exactly. Alrighty, so let's see here. What are we, are um, we done? Striker, no live tomorrow. Um, we will not be doing live shopping again until Cyber Monday, so Tony and I have time to get ready for it because it is five to six hours. Um, or, I mean, it's, it's more than that, but, so we'll do that. Uh, anything else? Why did we all write to dessert before the main course? Because we're adults, Dean, and we can make those decisions for ourselves. Look, here's what happened. I mean, I ate breakfast. What happens sometimes is my, my uh, wife's dad used to say this, is like, hey, it's okay to eat dessert first, because what happens if something happens and you don't make it to dessert during dinner? You just get to enjoy part of it. Yeah, the fun part. So just eat the first. Dean wants to know if you're going to use the quiver. Uh, I'll probably take this one home. Yeah, or either that or sell it to you, Dean. <laughs> Since you Dean like doesn't free stuff. buy anything. Well, he you just like free stuff, but this one we could sell to you. <laughs> uh... All right, we're going to hang out That's a little right. bit. Are we done? Are we done with this? Yep, we are done for today. We're going to finish it up on Friday? Yep. 
Uh, I mean, we may pop on. We'll be on Twitch for the after party. Yeah, so if anybody wants to keep hanging, we're going to jump over to Twitch, and I don't know what Tony's going to do. We'll do some things. Um, but other than that, we will see you guys on Friday. Bye. 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 <laughs>